shoulder problems tend to be fairly age specific. When we're younger, the ball tends to dislocate from the shoulder. In the middle years of life, the rotator cuff tears from the bone. And then as we get older, arthritis, which is where the cartilage surface tends to be a problem. There have been great advances in the field of arthroscopy over the past 15 years. The arthroscope allows us to do surgery through very small holes with our scope so that we can minimize trauma, smaller scars, and much more rapid recovery for return to athletics or everyday activities. When a shoulder dislocates, we need to repair the labrum back onto the socket. We can do that arthroscopically using suture tacks. The arthritic suture tack is a bioabsorbable anchor that absorbs over time and goes away after the labrum has healed to the socket. When the rotator cuff tears from the top of the arm bone, we can repair it using an arthritic bio hook screw anchor that is inserted into the bone. It later then absorbs and goes away. The knee joint is held together by four main ligaments. The anterior cruciate ligament runs through the center of the knee and is particularly vulnerable to, in to twisting and turning injuries of the knee. There are also two meniscal cartilages and surface cartilage on the bone above and below. ACL injuries, unfortunately, are very common in cutting, jumping, and twisting athletics. When the ACL tears, the knee tends to be unstable, and most athletes can't continue to play in that situation. Also, as we get older, if we don't have an ACL, the knee tends to wear more, causing arthritis over time. ACL tears, it cannot be repaired. We have to reconstruct it, and we can either use tissue from the patient's own body, usually from the front of the knee, or we borrow it from a cadaver called an allograft.